Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back with another Paladin's video. We're playing some Pip today with his adjusted damage setup. It's been a minute, I haven't played damage Pip in a while, but for some reason, Acumen and also Bug's car, there might be others, but those are the two that I remember, got changed in this update. And that's kind of good, but also possibly bad. I'll explain and we'll jump in. But it's obviously better because it's giving you life steal instead of just on the target. It's definitely a buff to the card, but because of the way it works with life rip, which I'm pretty sure was broken before, it can be worse because I'm pretty sure this fixes the scaling on it. I could be wrong though, I kind of need to test it also compared to the video before, but this is the build, it's going to be the same regardless. You want the card in there and you want the quick reduction, the slow, this ammo gen, and yeah, the setup has been the same for damage pip. For as long as I can remember, it works really well. Just want to hop into the shooting range real quick and actually try it before we jump into the matches. It doesn't really matter too much anyway because people weren't really comboing it with life rip most of the time. I did, but especially now that life rip's better, I could have seen it being more of a problem because it scales up to 60% plus the card that would have been kind of crazy but yeah let's just see how it works now real quick that's what it really matters uh, with a right click we are healing 348 per shot which seems about right because we deal 660 which is higher than i remember it for some reason pip's damage always surprises me whenever i actually play damage pip but with life rip we're getting 20 percent 132 that should obviously work as you know normal but with a right click here how much is that going up to 435 but yeah that is still stacking with a right click here how much are we getting 495 which is uh, also pretty sure not getting diminishing returns. We'll grab the final bit of life rip and this theoretically if there's no diminishing returns would be 100% life rip. So we should heal for 660 if it's still stacking weird and broken like it kind of was before. Let's see. 640. So there is something going on. That's with the cards. So it's around 600 because with this card you just get absurd amounts of life rip and you still kind of can. I do want to point out that diminishing returns isn't really applying particularly harsh here. So life rip definitely isn't countering uh, the card or damage pip in any real noticeable way. It's still just giving you insane amounts of healing which is the main point of the freaking thing i was trying to say show me to game one and run it a long intro but i wanted to at least test that here in the video shouts to our gang for reminding me because if you're going for damage pip or damage any healer really you should just put it in the chat so that you can get another healer if it makes sense or just let people know that you're going for damage uh, we've got an andro tiberius ying and a nix versus makoa victor corvus ruckus and mave gonna go life rip for the sake of the video but i don't know if i'd really recommend that actually let's start with Krennus. i think that makes the most sense i don't know if you're really nimble on pip if you're playing him properly shouts out there to yeah, the Andro. Of course, we're going for Catalyst here, but we've got Titan's Fury, Darkstalker, Life Exchange, Show of Force, which also kind of combos with us, I guess. Rogue's Gambit, uh, Rocket Barrage, Sling Bizarre, kind of annoying half shell, and Burst Mode. You didn't go to who I wanted it to there, but damage on the cover, he's on like nothing. Victor at the back is kind of scaring me a little bit, but I guess we just sit on the point. It's Onslaught, right? There's a slow on the Mako. That's just brutal, especially with a damage buff on it, man. What I was trying to say is damage buff is in a really good spot, and I do not see it like anywhere near enough for how strong it is. It's really, really good. It's not even difficult to play. It's just kind of different. I think that's why I don't see it. Am I dead to the Mako? Are we all right? I guess we're fine. Um, pushing him here the damage duration on it is actually kind of crazy that it lasts that long uh, ying's doing work here with the heals and the radius on everything and just the way it works it feels so easy to play and so easy to do well with because one of the few characters i think that the damage setup can often be much better than uh, the healer focused one we're gonna have to pull back here because our ying's dead and she's kind of thing holding the team together i did kind of say that you don't need nimble but i also said that you need to be a good pit for that to apply and i'm not necessarily particularly great with him even though i think i do fine so we are going to grab nimble here i think i might be dead to that um never mind we're actually still on is a life going to keep me up um there's a q as well a little bit too slow i thought that last shot would have been enough he's just got a tiny bit of health left he's eventually gone did just pop the ult. i don't even know who i hit with that that's a victor ult. i think we're fine just play a little bit more annoying and kind of zone them a bit i guess there's a heal for the andro nice hello yeah makoa there's an f in case i need it but i guess we're kind of fine just the life rip from the card is kind of ridiculous plus the ying heals these guys are just kind of shredding them there's a heal he's still dead though there's a slow on the maybe also hit the ruckus jump over that's a nix ult just absolutely massive the team here again has just gone kind of huge there's a q he didn't even understand there's a slow should be sort of free he's going for the ultimate doesn't really matter though he's gone i'm dead though too i think just literally hit every button there to try and get one ability off we're gone full chronos full nibble looks kind of weird on pit but i suppose it's like the most aggressive setup you can run with him other than just getting death hands and stuff i'm gonna go for the ultimate here just to sort of annoy the victor because he's the one that i think is going to clear me there we go back up to full because the ying is healing hello victor shot slow shot um i think he's dead he can't really run away you kind of counter people like that a lot like people like victor that are trying to do the damage and then retreat they can't really do that if you sow them that much Pip actually is a weird counter to the Victor. Definitely isn't like an insane level slow. It's not like a root, like a Grover right click or something, but it certainly feels like it against a lot of characters. It's a Wreck Assault. Um, that's fine. We're going to F here. Victor, not Victor. Makoa ult. Um, there goes the Mave, and there is the victory. A bit of a stomp game. Felt kind of unfair there, but... The team was just shredding. The Yank was healing a ton. Uh, Anjo was going massive. His stats didn't really show up, but he was playing great. So was Tiberius. Way more than I realized. And uh, yeah, next was too. Shouts to the team. Really good game. We'll reek you. Jump into game two. Keep it going. I don't really know what to add on top of that one. They put up a really good fight for it, to be honest. Specifically the Corvus and the Victor. But yeah, 
a little bit uneven. All right, so for game two, we've got pretty much the opposite. If I managed to do just as well here, I'd be very, very surprised because the things that really counter it obviously are immunities, which counter pretty much everything. And shields only have a Koga, a Grok, both characters who have immunities. The Vivian with the shield, Khan with the shield, and a Vora, who I guess has immunity with the right kind of. For our side, we have an Ash, Sati, Ceres, and Kazumi. Don't get me wrong, we should still do fine here. It doesn't like, massively screw you over anything, but it's definitely going to be more tough. Battling Ram, Rindor, Duty, Soul Collector, Haunting. A Relentless, Vortex, Suspect, Everybody, Atomic, and Dragon Fangs. Pop the jump, get over this way, because Umi's just gone. There's a big right click. Try and get rid of the Vivian. I feel like I should, you know, focus her a little bit, but I don't know how this is going to work. There's a queue to get two of them. There's a big slow. Um, hello, Koga. That didn't deal any damage there. Don't really know what I'm doing here, but we did get some good damage and some decent life rip hits. I'm trying to hit in midair. Yeah, I'm just gone there to the Koga dashing around, which is also kind of a counter to this, because the slow doesn't really affect him just spamming the dash. Don't really know what the team's doing in this one. Bit of a mess. Hello, Vora. She's just gone. Yep, yeah, that's fine. I probably should have waited a little bit there for the queue, but I was worried someone else was going to push in. Hello, Victor. Not a Victor. Obviously, it's a Grok. I think I'm dead, though. Going for more life, but I feel like we kind of need it. There goes the Vivian. One last little shot. That was just a miss, but there we go. Finished her anyway. There's a Q for the Ash. I'm really not focused on heals in this one. I'm totally focused on damage. That's a Kogro. Must have been a misclick. Hello, Vora. Never mind. She jumped away. Going to go over this way. Sati got two with the ult. We're going to pop ours just there. That didn't hit the um, uh, Grok, but it hit the Khan. He's gone. There we go. I feel like I can't really deal with the Vivian in this one, which is super annoying. I didn't realize how hard of a counter Vivian was to Pip. Even though I specifically remember playing Pip and having a hard time with Vivian. I feel like you can shoot under the shield, but then actually in practice, it kind of doesn't really work like that. Uh, hello, Koga. Am I dead to this? Can we clear him? I just, I'm not landing my hits. He's still gone somehow. That was horrendous. There's a slow again for the Grok. There's a Q. Jump height. Finish him off. Nope, he's in the immunity. Okay, we're going to have to run. I'm dead. One of those matches where, compared to the first one, where we had super free damage, they're really easily able to block and sort of deal with what I'm trying to do. I didn't explain that very well, but I'm sure you get what I mean. Let's go for the ultimate here. Just get rid of the Koga, because I'm so tired of dying to that. There's the F. I don't know why Aceris is playing so aggressive. We kind of need a like, dedicated healer here. It's not really working. There's a Q. I think I'm dead. Shot slow. Stop him from clearing us. Guess the Grok's just here, but I feel like I lost the entire team for a minute there. I'm in such a bad spot. I'm dead here any second. Just trying to distract them, I guess. Yeah, out of place really, really badly, but don't really know how to explain it to you. Just as a team here, we're super scuffed. I feel like I'm actually kind of healing a little bit more than the first one, and uh, damage wise, we're doing fine. It's just really hard to uh, just really hard to explain what I mean, but let's get rid of the Vivian here. Ultimate just solo on it. Never mind, she's got some form of resilience. I think either I was just too slow and she put up the shield. I'm dead. Dealing with the shield on Vivian has been really annoying. Actually, the worst out of all of them. And Koga with the crazy movement. Khan over there. There's a big slow on the Vivian who ulted. Got some good damage. That's a Khan ult. Oh, not a Khan. Koga. Not a Koga. Koga's on me, but that was a Grok. I'm just trying to hop away. Don't really know what some people on the team are doing, which are definitely making it, uh, you know, worse. Like, specifically, the Ceres is just kind of running in a lot and dying. But overall, even if we had a team that was shredding here, we'd still be having a difficult time with their team comp, which isn't even an active counter. They just picked characters that Pip has a hard time with. And all five of them give us at least a little bit of trouble. But there we go, there is either few got kind of shredded in that one. But I'm perfectly happy with how we did, considering the situation we're in. 6, 9, 60k, 13k is fine. So actually did quite well there. The Ceres played really weird. The Kazumi had a really, really hard time there though. And um, yeah, Ash did fine. For their side, Khan and Vora played a little bit weird, but yeah, Vivian and Grok and Koga all played themselves really quite well and was super annoying to deal with. And yeah, that's kind of the best way to close off the video. We had both sides of damage pip. Sometimes it works really, really easily and you just shred and other times you have a really hard time because people are shielding and immuning and moving it like a crazy amount. The setup works most of the time. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Definitely let me know what you want to see me do next. Your thoughts on damage pip. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.